peace, infinite waters diving deep once again, how to astral travel, all about astral projection, out of body experiences. I made a video a while ago on lucid dreaming and I love diving deep into these kinds of topics. I talk a lot about becoming your greatest version and I give a lot of practical information that can help you with your daily life. And a lot of people may ask, how can astral projection help me out? I went to see Lucy, a fascinating movie because watch it to learn more about astral travel and astral projection. It is all throughout the film. When we talk of astral projection, I am talking about the ability to project yourself outside of yourself. <laughs> and that's the big difference between that and lucid dreaming. Lucid dreaming is when you are dreaming, you are building up the dream construct. Astral projection, for example, I've had experiences where you could be in your room and you can start viewing other places. You can start picturing yourself in exotic locations, going into people's minds. That's what Inception was all about. Astral travel is where your whole consciousness leaves your body. And some people, they have experienced flying, but it is real. It is the astral plane we refer to as the fourth dimension. We see that we are human beings having a spiritual experience. And this body is just a vehicle. I say, when you see you are a spiritual being having a human experience, that's where it's a game changer. And what I've seen along my journey is that I remember realizing that this is not that special because everyone is going to sleep and they are astral traveling. However, a lot of us can't remember it. That's the secret because as your consciousness rises, as your awareness rises, now everything becomes more lucid. And that is why it is so essential to look at our lifestyle, to see that we are aware, we are conscious, we are not becoming so distracted by the external world. Why do you think there's so much distractions out there? Because the moment you start going within, now you have access to all of this information. That's what Lucy was all about, accessing the Akashic records. And there we start seeing the hidden mysteries of life and creation. That's why in the film, Lucy was traveling throughout time. But what we saw is that the past, present and the future are all happening simultaneously. I say that there are so many benefits for astral travel. I remember a couple of weeks ago, I was astral traveling and everyone does this as soon as you go to sleep, you can do this. <laughs> but you are conscious. 
I was talking to someone I know in the physical realm, in the astral realm, and we haven't talked for a long time, but we resolved our personal issues in the astral realm, the fourth dimension. So it is wonderful once we see that it is real. That's what I've seen. We can use it for learning more about who we are. And it's simple. It's not that difficult. But at the same time, it takes a calm mind. When we talk of how to do it, what's helped me along my journey is using deep relaxation. Breathing from the base of my spine, mindfulness meditation, and also realizing that it's all about frequency. Because most of us, we are in the beta brainwave state. That's the standard. As we become more relaxed, we drop to the alpha. But I've seen astral travel becomes possible once we are in the theta and the delta brainwave state. That is what children, babies, that's the brainwave state they are in pure relaxation where in essence there is no separation between this dimension and the next. There are infinite dimensions and the more you start taking those trips you start questioning what is reality. That's what I love about astral traveling because you say to yourself wait a minute, wait a minute the majority of what we have been told has been a lie about society. And the more you see it for yourself, you start to free yourself. And you can only know that by diving into the deep resources that lie within our soul. They've been hidden from us because we're always looking on the outside. I say you have to start living from the inside out. And yes, there are many entities who are crawling about <laughs> in the astral realm. Many people call them shadow beings. But I say there's nothing to be afraid of. I embrace the darkness like I embrace the light. And that's how to free yourself. The ancient Chemites talked of astral traveling. The car and bar. The bar leaving the body as one transitions from this dimension to the next. These are not new concepts. But it's all about knowing it for yourself. That's why a lot of this might sound <laughs> woo. But I've spoken to so many different people and I know for myself personally that we are only seeing a very small amount of what actually exists. To see the, the rest of it, we have to surrender to this fake persona we have created because all of that prevents us from traveling, astral traveling. A lot of us, we can't even get a good night's rest. We're tossing, turning, twisting, screaming, and we're always caught up in time. I've seen along my journey, we're in the third dimension. As you move up to the fourth dimension, Time begins to fade away. The higher you go up in dimension, the higher <laughs> and higher you go up in dimension, time ceases to exist. And also polarity ceases to exist. We see that in this 
3D dimension, it is wonderful because you learn all about polarity, good and bad. But as you rise in consciousness, you see they are two sides of the same coin. I say to astral travel, which is allowing your consciousness to roam freely because all is mental. We are energy. Having a human experience, (laughs) we have to be okay with who we are. We have to accept ourselves 100%. I resisted it for a long time. I said, no, I don't want to accept this. And a simple way is perfection. We always want to get everything right. And that stops a lot of us in becoming our greatest version. Because we are only using a small amount of our true brain capacity. And what I've seen is that once we begin just to become aware that we are the superheroes that we go to see when you're eating popcorn, just staring, that is you. What's happened is that we've fallen into a state of amnesia. You have to ask yourself, who is controlling your thoughts? Are you thinking your thoughts or are your thoughts thinking you? Terence McKenna, culture is not your friend. Because the more you are astral traveling, you are beginning to delete these programs. Just like in the film Lucy, one plus one is not two. There are no numbers. There are no letters. Yes, for us in this 3D dimension, because it's a human construct. But in other dimensions, it doesn't exist. It doesn't need to, because we are the source. And anything becomes possible. That's what I love about astral traveling anything becomes possible. And a great way to do it is just by creating more harmony within yourself through not being so hard on yourself, letting go of negative energy, whatever no longer serves you, surrounding yourself with people who accept you and to people who are open to this kind of information. That's what I've seen along my journey. And I'm not afraid to talk off it. That's why I can keep doing it and keep going into the Akashic Records, pulling out new information. Every day I get a new insight because the human being is the highest form of technology on the planet. All of this technology is modeled after us. That's what I learned through astral traveling. And The reason why we can astral project, if you raise your frequency high enough, is because there is only one mind. All is energy. And a lot of people can feel, just like Lucy in the movie, she said, I feel everything. She was projecting herself into everything because she was part of everything in her immediate environment. She allowed that possibility to take place. Some people say, I need plants to astral travel. And we have to also see that many of these herbs were placed in nature for us. The ancient Egyptians used the lotus. In the murky waters, the lotus grew, giving them heightened states of consciousness. For me, astral traveling, how I have done it is by the frequencies I listen to. Binaural beats are fantastic. The 432 hertz does wonders. But it is all about changing your focus, seeing what you are taking in and embracing 
and knowing you are worthy to have the most fulfilling experience here on planet Earth. It's all within us and everything is possible. We are here in the studio having fun, about to go out, go and skate. Infinite waters, diving deep once again. Stay well, stay healthy. Peace.